Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. There is a new Nvidia driver that's just been released. In fact, it was yesterday at the time of this video, which is now 528.49. And to be honest, it's mainly to address new games and their support for DLSS. However, there is an interesting fix which includes some of the issues that you may have heard regarding Discord which can decrease performance. Now I haven't noticed this one myself and I must admit I do have Discord open which I would not recommend by the way. In fact, get rid of anything in your taskbar when you're flying that you don't need. But this has been a fix apparently in this new driver so if that's something that has been hampering performance for you then you might want to try this one. There is also a fix for the Adobe Bridge stability issues and in terms of resizable bar I do have mixed feelings about that and I've recently disabled it because it's been causing a few stutters when moving my head in VR. So for me personally now that I've tried it some more I have that disabled but I know for some people <laughs> it's strange how these things work you know they prefer it so maybe your mileage will vary. I'd just like to say this video is proudly sponsored by FS Academy which brings tutorials of very high quality to the flight simulator all the way from a GA pilot to an airline captain and there's no doubt that wherever you are in terms of your knowledge if you're a seasoned veteran like me or you're just starting out there's definitely a training package for you so I'd highly recommend that you check FS Academy out and all the links will be in the description below. Right, so as you can see here, I've got some OpenXR toolkit settings I'm using. For Vario Aero owners, as you can see, I've got the eye tracking turned on, which gives me 60 frames per second, and it's quite phenomenal. In fact, sometimes it can be well over 70 frames per second with the 4090. So definitely recommend that. Um, apart from that, I don't really use anything else. I would recommend, however, if you use DLSS, to use the CAS setting. Uh, with 50% sharpening. That is definitely something that works well with the Aero and the HP Reverb G2. So that's it folks, as you can see the new driver seems to be working very well for me. Please do let me know in the comments below if you found any issues or bugs. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for me for this video. Thank you so much for watching as always, I really do appreciate it. Please feel free to subscribe and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.